I'm never going to use Svelte again. Svelte is a popular JS framework used for building full stack web apps. It's known for its performance and simplicity, but is that really the case? That's not actually the case. Svelte claims to be simple. While it's well designed and has picked the best parts of the frameworks that have come before it, experienced web devs should be able to adopt it and find familiar patterns, but developers who are new to Svelte are going to find it challenging to learn and understand its concepts. The documentation provided is high quality, but for new developers, well, I'm sure it's really hard to understand and that makes it even more difficult to get started with it. Second, you have its limited ecosystem. Although it is gaining popularity, it still has a really small ecosystem compared to other popular frameworks. And this is a major disadvantage, especially for me, when it comes to finding support or libraries for certain functionalities. Let's say I needed to create a view counter to see how many times a post was viewed. Well, I know in Rails, there's 100% going to be a gem for that, but I wouldn't be so sure if there's the equivalent package in SvelteKit. Many, many developers also find it really challenging to find Find answers to their questions because Svelte is so new and this hinders their productivity. Thirdly, the community is quite small so there are fewer developers who can contribute to the framework development or provide any support. This is a significant disadvantage when it comes to finding solutions to problems or even improving the framework. Svelte isn't designed to create gigantic scalable full stack apps, which isn't something I personally like as I want a framework that's able to do it all. Let me ask you this, what if the project requirements change midway through and you have to change frameworks because Svelte doesn't cut it? That's a massive of pain in the ass. While SvelteKit has many advantages like built-in API endpoints, server-side rendering, routing, and it works well for building complex full-stack apps with extensive backend logic, it also has some significant drawbacks. The framework's approach to building full-stack web apps makes it challenging for new developers to learn and understand. And because it has very little third-party libraries, you have to do everything from scratch. Because of all these reasons, I decided that I'm going to stick with Rails, at least for the projects that I have in mind. It's very important to keep in mind though, SvelteKit is still unfinished and changing rapidly. So this video probably won't be accurate in two or three years time. 